Hello and welcome to Space Shark Teaches. I'm Sean from Space Shark Studios and I'm here to teach you visual scripting in Godot 3.1. Let's get started. In this lesson, we will be making a coin that your player can collect and that in future lessons you can use to increment score and show in the UI. Let's get started. So right now we have our player and a moving platform and a ball to kick and platforms, all that sort of good stuff. But we have nothing for the player to collect and nothing really to make this game interesting besides you can move around in it. So we're gonna change that by adding a coin. So first off, we're going to use a new type of collision shape, which is Area 2D. Go ahead and rename this to coin. And we are going to right click, save branch as seen like normal. Once you've done that, go ahead and enter. And then you want to do the normal add a collision shape. And then add an animated sprite. So for the sprites this time, we are going to be using some coins that will spin in a circle. So let's go ahead and make a new folder for the coin just so it's kind of grouped a little bit better. So in coin, you're going to drag all of them in and then drag in number two a second time. And as always, we need to make sure that it imports as a pixel art, as opposed to a regular, let's blur this art. So I'm gonna set the FPS to six because it seems to look pretty good and then let it spin. So now you have a non-snapping, there we go. Now we have a spinning coin. Perfect, that's it, right? That's all we need. Well, we actually need to add a script. So like normal, let's put it in the scripts folder. And then unlike normal, we are not going to be adding any functions or variables or anything like that. Instead, we have coin selected, I guess reselect coin, and we are going to be looking over in node under these signals. So what signals do is it sends out a signal anytime something happens to that node. So area 2D has signals for area entered, which means another area 2D has entered the collision and body entered, which means a physics body. So the kinematic, the um, rigid body, any of those has entered this collision shape. So we are going to be using body entered and we are going to click connect. So what this will do is create a new function for you that will be called anytime a body enters this, um, enters this area 2D, so the coin that we just made. So now we have a new function and it has body as the type that um, comes in, as the variable that is passed. And we are going to be using that, but first off, let's just say we want the coin to be collected anytime something hits it. So what we can do is drag in coin, switch back to the inspector, and as normal, we're going to go to self, and the function is going to be queueFree. So what queueFree does is it deletes the instance of this object when queueFree is called. So it's freed from the memory. So with our coin in here, let's go ahead and add it. Put it down next to the player. And there we go, it's collected, right? Looks good. Um, the problem with this is, if you see, I'll put it up here in the path of the platform. Now 
it was collected by the platform so we don't really want that uh, right now it doesn't care who enters this collision it will just queue free regardless and we don't want that um, we actually want to only have the player be able to collect it right so to do that we are going to be using something called groups um, so if you go into your scenes and open up player click on player and go back over to node next to signals you can see something called groups and we are going to add the player to a group called player go back to the inspector and we are done with player go back to coin so let's disconnect this because we don't want the coin to just be destroyed anytime something comes in um, instead let's drag in coin fresh because there's no other way to get a node change call mode to instance base type to node and then function is going to be is in group so what this function does is it says is this object that we pass in part of this group which we tell it so we pass it the body this is the body that entered the coins collision shape and then we can say are you the player are you part of the group that we have defined as player now you can also if you want go ahead and say player group string make this player and export and then you can use this instead in case you don't want to call it player or if you want to use the coin in a different way um, so let's say you do want it to be picked up by platforms so you can change this player group to say platforms instead and name all the platforms or put all the platforms in the platform group um, that aside we now have a check to see is the thing that just entered part of the player group we're going to say on that condition so make sure and pass in this return value if this is true then queue free and I have made one change um, during that break and that was I'm using the correct player now I had another player in there from the um, from one of the extra tutorials so in case you are not able to connect the coin check to make sure that you are using the correct player um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how if you have another player which the difference is the sprite in player is controlled by a script and another player uses the animated sprite once again all you have to do is spell player right is make another player also one of the players so if we go and say this one is 90 450 and we can see now that both characters can collect the coin but the moving platform does not just to reiterate if we leave it here for a second we'll be able to see that the moving platform doesn't collect the coin but both of our players can now collect the coin all right and that's it you now I mean, you saw this was a very short script this is all it takes you're using signals in order to check to see if something entered the collision using groups to figure out if the thing entering the collision is the type that you want and then queue freeing to make it delete so one last thing i'm going to add is we are going to add our own signal for use later and it's going to be called coin collected if you drag this in here you can emit your own signal which means that later on 
you can say if my signal happens what do I do and we will see how that gets connected and hooked up in the next lesson so I'll see you there thank you for watching Space Shark Teaches if you'd like to see more please subscribe to the channel and remember to click the bell to always stay up to date please also join us on our discord linked in the comments and check out our other videos if you ever want to see what else we've been up to Thanks again for watching, and we can't wait to see what you make.